What's going on, everybody? It's Thursday, April 15th, 5.50 p.m. my time. Prices of ETH currently hitting all the way past 2,500. Went to a high of almost 2,550. Bitcoin is finally rebounding all the way from its lows around 62,000, uh, back near 63.5. We've got a lot of ground to cover in today's analysis. First things first, make sure y'all hit the thumbs up. I love doing free content, but it would be fantastic if y'all could hit the thumbs up because it really helps our community grow and more people come join our membership, our Discord channel. Okay. So if you are interested in our membership, you can go to thealphatrades.com, hit the products page right here, right? And you can join the Advantage membership subscription. The other thing that we have going right now is the Alpha Indicator Suite, which I'll talk about through the video. We've only got 15 days left in the lifetime membership for our indicator, which I'll be covering um, later on in the video. But let's get to the analysis, right? So first thing with Bitcoin, after we tag these lows, okay, we're now coming into a very nice area, which we previously saw as resistance. So this right here was all resistance. We broke through, found support on it, went up, could not clear a higher high up here, failed and rolled over, right? So this marker, if I extend it out further, okay, you'll see it's a SR level across the board. So as we come into this marker, what we really need to do going to tomorrow, going to the weekend is we need to break above this marker and hold. And if we do that right here, chances are pretty high. We're going to hit this previous all-time high or quite possibly higher. But here's the thing. I'm not really even concerned about Bitcoin right now. Why? Because guess what? Bitcoin dominance is nuking, right? When Bitcoin dominance is nuking like this, what do I do? I pay attention to altcoins. Altcoins are your bread and butter right now, okay? If y'all are familiar with our community, right? We started this 5K account challenge at the beginning of the year, right? I basically started this account with $5,000 and I grew it over time. So currently, as you can see in this video right here for our Advantage members, this account currently sits right near about $22,700, okay? This was as of this morning. So we have been kicking ass in this account up almost four, four and a half X, right? If you are interested in joining and learning from our 5K account challenge, again, you can go to the alphatrades.com website, hit the products page, and then join our Advantage membership subscription. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking in the market right now I am super, super bullish ETH. All right. In the 5K account, I have ETH spot, but I'm also long Ethereum. Okay. I am probably going to stay long Ethereum until at the very least 26 to $2,500, that range. After that, I really don't know what kind of chop or consolidation we'll have. It's gonna get pretty choppy before we make our next leg up. So in terms of leverage trades, I wanna start trimming those down and dialing those back a little bit further and then start heading into more spot. And if I get better opportunities in le uh, lever trades again, I'll probably play it level to level. Meaning, you know, if I buy here, I'll probably, you know, trim some right around this area, or if we say break up higher, right? And we hold this level or we get, you know, sharp uh, sell off, quick rebound. I would not mind adding to my ETH long right here and then riding this up towards $3,000, okay? All these numbers in terms of 2,600, 2,800, 3,000, I think they're entirely possible in the next several days because the market is off to a very, very good start from the beginning of the week, and it has strong momentum behind it, okay? So much so that many, many altcoins right now are positioned in a very, very bullish structure. ETH is not the only one. Here's Solana, right? Solana is one of my other favorite altcoins. As you can see, Solana on the daily basis, right? It has consolidated very nicely right here, right? Now we're putting in what looks to be a pretty decent bullish engulfing daily candle. If we close this daily as is, that's pretty much a bullish engulfing because we've engulfed the previous candle body right here. If we maybe close above this area on the daily, 
even more bullish. I'd probably say if that happens, we're probably hitting $30, maybe in the next 24, 48 hours. Okay. But for now, this is a good consolidation. I want to be long um, Solana, or I want to be at least um, spot in Solana. All right. Now, again, Solana being part of the L1 ecosystem, okay, this is one of the ecosystem products. It's almost a competitor, uh, competitor to um, Ethereum, and it's a competitor to Polkadot. Polkadot also looks really darn good, right? Let's do this right here. Okay, so here's how Polkadot is showing a very, very bullish structure. As you can see, all previous resistance right there, right? And now, if all this was resistance, support, support with a higher low, boom. This thing is ready to take off, okay? So y'all want to keep in mind, Polkadot, do not forget about this. Do not sleep on this because if you are thinking that ETH is going to go up higher, well, I believe the... L1 ecosystem projects out there like um, uh, Polkadot, uh, Solana, maybe even Cardano, right? Or Rune, which is kind of along the same lines. I think these are also going to go up, okay? Because the cyclicality of the market right now is pretty strong, meaning when we have one subsector of the market, let's just say centralized exchange tokens, Right, so centralized exchange token or decentralized exchange tokens. Um, well, I guess they, it wouldn't be decentralized because Binance is not decentralized. Yeah, I guess it would be centralized exchange tokens, right? So centralized exchange tokens like Binance, right, were ripping over the last several weeks, right before Coinbase was getting listed, right? So they took off. I mean, you could see right here, Binance went from almost what was it two hundred thirty dollars all the way to almost a high of. $630, right? That's almost a 169% move, right? Very similar to that, FTT, very similar structure. As y'all could see, right? Went up almost 83%, huge movement so far. Aside from that, you have KuCoin shares, right? Very similar, centralized exchange token shares, okay? Up almost 220%. To the high of almost uh, 290%, right? So these are the centralized exchange tokens. Now, the other um, assets that are out there, which are, let's just say, DeFi blue chips, okay? Band, for example, right? Band is now starting to break out like this, okay? Guess what else broke out in a similar fashion the other day? Link broke out just like that the other day, right? Wi Fi also broke out in a pretty huge fashion, okay, over the last couple of days, right? I'm in a uh, spot long uh, Wi-Fi trade from probably several weeks ago. Um, I want to say, I think I actually got in somewhere around here. So maybe end of January, beginning of February, but that one's done tremendously well. I'm up almost 87, 88% on it, um, doing really well so far, right? Let's see some other positions out there. Comp which is just starting to break out again, right? This one is a fantastic trade to keep your eye on. Right now, just finishing its inverse head and shoulders pattern, as you can see, right? All you need right here is this candle to basically close above this neckline. And this thing is probably gonna take off like a rocket ship over the next coming days, okay? What else? Um, Maker, this one really surprised me. This thing is up like 50% for the day or it was, now it's up 42% for the day. I mean, this is incredible. You're seeing breakouts across the board, right? You just have to position yourself properly, not be over levered, don't get too greedy, right? And don't try to FOMO in once this move has already happened, all right? Because you already missed it, okay? The chances of this thing going up another 50% right now, right away, pretty slim, right? So just be patient. Pay attention to those assets that are looking good right now, I have not completely blown up. Like I said, Solana is one of them, okay? This thing is just um, just right now compressing, consolidating, and gearing up for a potential big breakout. The other one I'm paying attention to is Serum, right? Very, very perfect retest right here of this KSR level. As you can see, if this thing breaks out, I'm probably expecting $10 and beyond. 
Okay, but it's going to get rocky, I would probably say, for, for something like Serum, because it sometimes has a correlation to Bitcoin, but also Solana, or sometimes it does its own thing. I haven't been quite able to figure out the movements in SRM, but in any case, very, very bullish structure. Right? So you all can see there are tons of assets out there that are doing tremendously well. The worst thing that you can do in a market like this is become a little bit too emotional, become a little bit too greedy, over-lever yourself and get caught with your pants down when the market starts taking, you know, just a turn for maybe a day or two. And then you're either close to a liquidation or you panic yourself out of position. Don't do that. Okay. This is why you need to come follow our 5k count challenge. You can go to our website, sign up for our advantage membership. Okay. You can follow along because I make videos like this every single day and I show my advantage members exactly how I'm trading the market, what I'm picking up, what positions I'm taking, what I'm closing down, uh, where my stops are, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Again, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling anyone to copy trade. I'm just simply showing people how I go about the market, all right? So I've talked to y'all about a bunch of altcoins, okay? Now, here's the other thing that I really wa wanna mention, all right? Back in, 2017 and 18, when we had that huge altcoin run up, right? The dominance for Bitcoin puked all the way down to about 35%. So we're going to mark this out real quick. Okay. This was pretty much the low in Bitcoin dominance. All right. So 35% BTC DOM in 2017 alt season. All right. That's exactly what it was. Okay. So where are we right now? We're at 53%. However, we have another very key support level in dominance, okay? Dominance itself also has, you know, the way it plays technicals. So in this box right here, this blue box right here, I'm expecting somewhat of a relief bounce as uh, BTC dominance comes into this area. So what will that mean? It will likely mean probably a pause in altcoins or consolidation in altcoins, maybe for a couple of days as BTC dominance hits this blue box, which is around 50 to 51% uh, dominance percentage. So in that time, I am expecting Bitcoin to probably go on a bit of a tear. Maybe it gets towards 65, 70,000, maybe it gets to 75, I really don't know. But here's the thing, from here to get to 70,000, it's only 10%. That's a 10% move. That's like one day and Bitcoin can easily knock that out. So you can see we're closer to 70K than you think. So I'm looking forward to that kind of move whenever that happens, but you got to keep an eye on dominance. All right. Because I do believe that that kind of bounce will happen because generally what happens is most traders get extremely excited and heavy levered long right near the peak euphoria phase of the you know altcoin movements up and when that happens the market has a very unique ability to weed them out with that kind of consolidation this kind of consolidation you know maybe sharp drops like this you know up and down as it keeps moving up and that will generally happen to people who cannot handle the swings because they are over levered so you want to be careful. Like I said, the worst thing you can do in a market like this is over leverage yourself, be impatient, you know, have very tight stops because you cannot handle such big swing because your position sizes are too big. All right. It's a bull market. Another thing that you don't want to do is not try to short and be a hero and try to time the top. Okay. And telling you all this because I've been through it. Many successful people and traders, investors have gone through that, you know, phase of the market really humbling them. Now I've gone through that too. And trust me, it sucks because when you have a market that's so strongly trending, all you really have to do is hang on to good positions, right? Take good trades in and out, know when to take advantage of leverage, but also get out of levered trades and then either move into a cash position, a spot position or just hang tight, right? Hang tight to your positions and size down. Many don't know how to do that, okay? This is why we have our community to support you, 
to help you guys out because we have a ton of traders from all over the world, people from all kinds of different experiences, right? Men, women, people from uh, Asia and Europe and Australia, New Zealand uh, and India and China, right? So people from all over the world, all right? And this will help you stay grounded, stay focused and give you a core support group of people who know what the heck they're doing in the markets. Okay, so make sure y'all join. Now, the other thing that I do wanna talk about is ETH BTC, okay? Because Ethereum is really, really just kicking ass, the only thing that you wanna pay attention to is ETH USD and ETH BTC pair. ETH BTC is basically a proxy for um, the altcoin market. As long as ETH BTC and ETH USD keep going up, I'm pretty confident on most of the altcoin market. When this slows down, generally most of the altcoin market is going to suffer a little bit. There's going to be pockets of the altcoin market that are still going to perform well, but generally like it's a very, very good sign when ETH performs really well against BTC because that is the largest altcoin, right? The biggest crypto is Bitcoin, but the second biggest crypto is Ethereum, the altcoin. So when Ethereum does well, generally the market has maybe a good you know, sentiment that altcoins themselves are going to do well. Okay, so pay attention to Ethereum. Some other altcoins that I'm closely watching, Rune, right? Rune has just absolutely tore it up the last you know several weeks, several months. I mean, I think it basically went, you know, when it got listed on other exchanges, it was like pennies and now it's at $14. It's just gone up so much, right? So keep an eye on Rune because my God, I mean, this thing just does not look like it wants to stop. It has actually outperformed so many other assets. I'm extremely surprised that, you know, this thing just keeps going up further and further, okay? Um, LTC is another good one, right? Something that y'all wanna be paying attention to. The next resistance level in LTC is around $304. Where does that come from? Okay. It comes from this key SR level. Back in 2017 and 18, as you can see, this was previous support. Price moved up, failed, broke down. Once again, came to that same $304 level. Boom, failed and broke down. Right. So you want to pay attention to $304 as a next resistance marker. Beyond that, then it's previous all-time highs um, that LTC put in in 2017, which is around $410 to $420. Bucks. Okay. I think it's entirely possible that LTC gets there in the next couple of days. Well, actually next couple of weeks. I really don't know what speed it will get there, but I think it's definitely possible. Okay. That's pretty much it. Um, I will probably actually cover the uh, indicators um, next time for y'all, but generally, you know, you could, you can go on our website, uh, find out the alpha indicator suite right here. Okay. You know, technically, this this um, this value is is uh, only good for Advantage members, but we want to offer it to the general public. And you know, we have some tutorials. If y'all are interested, you can message me, find me right here, message me, and I'll send you those tutorials. Um, but in real time, right? Actually, you know what? I got some time. Let me just do this real quick. Okay. So here's a couple of ways to look at the indicator real quick. Right. So on the four hour time frame, okay, here's numerous opportunities that could have given you some very, very nice positions in a long. So for example, um, we have two different indicators being used here. Number one, this right here is a moving average based indicator. We're, we can look at it on any time frame, okay? What it does is it utilizes uh, key specific moving averages, right? And it helps you identify key support and resistance levels based on those moving averages. So at present moment on the four hour time frame, if you look at this red ribbon right here, notice that numerous times the red ribbon was able to hold up price as support or test it as resistance, right? Or support right there, support right there, breaks through, holds it as, um, actually this one is uh, support right there, breaks through, one more retest, breaks out, right? The point is, you can use many of these moving averages as support or resistance levels on any time frame. Okay, even on the daily basis, right? You can see right here, okay, 
multiple times, you were given opportunities to go along right there on the retest, as y'all could see. And you would have been up pretty good had you bought each one of these retests based on our indicators, right? So that's one indicator that we have as part of our package. The other one is, and by the way, if you buy the alpha indicator suite, you actually get all three of these indicators that I'm talking about, okay? The one I just showed you earlier, again, this is the trend maker. This one is a swing indicator, right? It helps you get these buy or sell signals in the market. As you can see, we got multiple buy signals in the market back here in September, 2020. And as you can see, you have not gotten a single swing bear signal. Swing bear would imply you should be going short. The red arrows imply you can sell or trim your position. Green arrows imply that you can add to your position. So look at the swing bull signals right here that you got. You can add to your position right there, add, trim, add, trim, add, trim, add. All right, so you would have been up a lot of money had you just followed indicators like this um, on the longer time frame. On the smaller time frame, you can also use this on the 15 minute time frame. All right, what I typically do is I'll open up a 15 minute time frame and a one hour time frame, or a one hour and a four hour. All right, and this helps me get confirmation from bigger time frames to help me understand the context of the market. Not just small time frames giving me one signal. But if the small time frames give me one buy signal, are the higher time frames confirming that? Right? And more often than not, you'll notice that many a times you'll get two different time frames confirming to you that this is either a um, long position or a short position. And that helps a lot because it gives you conviction in your trade. Okay. So once again, you can go buy this on our website, thealphatrades.com. You can buy the lifetime membership, like I said, and you'll have this indicator forever. All three of these, right? The trend maker, the swing, and this one here at the bottom, which is the shepherd indicator. So let me close this out real quick. The shepherd helps you identify uh, bearish divergences or bullish divergences. It helps you identify tops and bottoms based on um, overbought and oversold levels. So it's like a RSI, but it actually helps you understand momentum shifts in the market, but also maps out very clearly where bearish divergences and bullish divergences are building, okay? So I use these indicators all the time. It helps me get great snipes in my entries. I use it in um, uh, Bitcoin. I use it on smaller timeframes, larger timeframes. I use it on my altcoins. I even use it in the stock market. So it's an indicator that you can use in any market, really gold, commodities, oil, um, stocks like Tesla and Apple and Unity and anything really, right? So you can see once you get the indicator, I mean, there's really no limit to it. You can use it across the board on any time frame, all right? So anyway, I hope you all hit the uh, thumbs up if you like the video. Come join our community. Come join our membership. Come hang out and do the 5K count challenge with us. You'd be really surprised at the results. Once again. Now the information here is financial advice. There is no copy trading in our community. We're simply here to provide analysis, show you guys what I'm seeing in the market. And that is it. Y'all take care. Cheers. And uh, let's kick some ass and, and you know make some bullish movement going into the weekend and the next week. All right. Cheers, everybody.